Okay. All right. Our model is looking pretty, pretty good. We can check it out. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is cool. This is iron here, pure iron, which is also cool. Let's see it from the back. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And bloody hands. Okay. So what we want to do now is render it here in iRay in uh, inside Substance Painter. We can do that. How? We can just rendering iRay. We'll push this button. And uh, it will send us to the render window. Let's see. Wait a little bit. Okay, now we are not in the render window yet. Now we are in the render window. You will notice that um, it's the viewport gets laggy and uh, there are these dots when you move. And let's uh, let's see if we can make a little bit of fast render. Uh, you can do it with default settings. It doesn't matter. So now it's cool. How do we save this? Is uh, you have some some settings here, display settings. For example, you have uh, dome, which is the your environment. But we don't have to touch this. Glossiness of uh, of the ground and shadow intensity and everything. I think it's good. Filter view, you can change it. Of course, focal land. Let's change it. Yeah, it's going. Oops. Okay. So, yeah. Let's leave it like this. You can activate some post effects. Like glare, like uh, depth of field. But it's uh, <laughs> not working too much. As we can see, the, the tail is sharp as it is. So, yeah. So sub sub surface scattering for uh, skin rendering and others. We don't uh, do that. Environment map is the same Gdansk shipyard buildings that we used. We can ex uh, increase the ex exposure and the rotation. We can rotate the environment, but we don't need to do that. Uh, because now I think we are good and we can make a good render. Uh, emissive intensity, we can change it. We can lower it, or we can increase it. Yeah, probably it, it was good, okay? So, refraction, our scattering absorption, everything is good. And we can pause the rendering here. And uh, yeah, this window is responsible for saving our render. For example, let's pause. Uh, here, render settings. You may not have this window, for example, like this. You may have only those. So we'll go here to, to Window, Views, and activate it. And it will go here. So in this window, we, um, we, are, um, we are setting up our image. For example, my image will be uh, 2500 by 1700 pixels. And uh, it will render for max time of 59 seconds. And then it will stop rendering. And this uh, min and ma max samples, I don't uh, like to mess with this. So let's render it for 80 seconds. And with this resolution, overwrite, so it will be this resolution, and unpause, it will say rendering here, and it will be slow. And we, we don't have to touch anything, we just have to wait uh, for these iterations to, to end, or for this timer here to, to end counting. It's now in 36. It will go to 1 minute and 20 seconds. 
it, which is 80 seconds, like I said here. So let's wait. Uh, basically, rendering here in IRA is very easy. Sometimes there are some artifacts uh, that I've noticed. Maybe in the newer versions they are not so much, but sometimes the shadows are a little bit sketchy, they have some pixelation and stuff. Uh, so we don't usually make renders here, but it can be done, it's fast, and the results are almost exactly as you see them in Substance Painter, which is the best uh, thing about this render, because it's exactly how you see it in Substance uh, Painter inside. So it's done, it's green, so we save render, and we save the render in baking, let's say render IRA 1, save. So we want to uh, render from this position, let's see, not bad, and when we render you can see I I set my image to Targa and when it's to Targa or I think TIFF also but Targa definitely will have a transparent background so this background here will be gone it will have transparent background with the shadow perfect for setup you can just make it go whatever you want so let's try backshot maybe but of course we have to turn the environment around because in this way it will be a little bit dark, let's see let's wait it a little bit yeah it's a little bit dark so we go to environment rotation and just rotate it probably around this area we can make it like this and we can of course make a render and yeah you will rotate it and when you stop it will start rendering and it will render until the timer ends so you can set the timer for five seconds for example and it will stop at five seconds but we want a little bit better quality it will not be the best maybe for the best quality you have to wait for at least five ten minutes even more it depends of uh of the resolution here you can make some bigger resolution you will wait more of course so let's wait a little bit more and of course we can say okay it's enough pause the rendering and save the render or even not pause the rendering and save the render but we will pause it and name this as 02 and yeah that's uh, that's the way you do rendering here and then again pressing this window will get you back to Substance Painter uh, window for making the texture. So now, what we have to do is export the textures from Substance Painter in order to open the this model in uh, Marvels, no, not in Marvels, in uh, Marmoset toolback. We'll open it in Marmoset toolback, and then we will put our textures from here. So we go file export textures and here we'll go to Unreal Engine Pact as you can see so by default it's something like this I think so we go down Unreal Engine for Pact we'll go here for Croc Tutorial whatever you want baking and select this folder you have to select folder PNG 8 bits it's cool duration infinity no I would like it to be deletion plus transparent. This is um, this is determining how much pixels. This time it will be 16. After the UVs, around the UVs, it will uh, render because we need to to render some. And 16 pixels, I think, is good. If it's infinity, it will render the pixels at the end, at the border of the UV infinity distance until they meet uh, the other pixels from the other UVs it's a little bit uh, difficult but it's it, nothing uh, I prefer deletion transparent it doesn't matter what you put here 
So here by default it's 2K, which is document size, but we want 4K. So both make it 4K and we will be ready. So Unreal Engine 4 packed, okay, and export. And now we wait. It's pretty fast here. It could take around like maybe two minutes or something, we'll see. So we will uh, take that time to go to uh, Marmoset toolback. So here we will import our model either from this button here or from file import model. Uh, either, uh, either one you choose, uh, you will not be wrong, I will do this. And this is the same exact mesh that we used for, uh, for Substance Painter. I will delete those materials here that are by default because we want a preset Unreal 4 template. So we go here to load various material presets and go to the bottom to Unreal 4 template and we make this template called body for example. Uh, our maps that we need will be normal map, gloss map, which will be um, not the gloss, but uh, yeah, the map that we will use here is the same as this map of the metalness and occlusion, we will use the same map and for the cavity also. And also we will use emissive map, of course. Uh, so these maps are going to be exported from Sustance Painter and they probably are exported now. Uh, we will duplicate this and call it, of course, upper. So we have both those selected now. So how do we proceed? Body here, upper here, upper also on the tongue. We have them here and we'll go to our folder that we have saved the maps and they are here. This map is very interesting because it has channels and RGB R is for the occlusion. So it's occlusion roughness me metallic and it's called occlusion roughness metallic. So it will be R G B occlusion roughness here and metallic is here. So R, this will be G, no, this will be G, and this will be B, because it's metallic, is R, G, B. So now I will just put them, uh, this is the body, we are on upper, so upper is here. Let's go first, but first uh, I would like to put there the uh, normal map because I would like to know if the normal map has to be flipped the, the Y or not. So let's do it, normal map. Okay, it doesn't look very good, so I'll flip the Y and it looks far much better. So this will be the case here. Gloss map and let's flip it. Okay, it doesn't look good, now it's good. So it has to be flipped. Both normal maps has to be flipped. So this map, we will drag it to reflectivity also, which is the metalness, and you can see how it, turned, uh, it started to look good. Now occlusion appears, and now cavity a little bit appears, and it looks very nice, but it doesn't have albedo, so we go and select our texture, which is albedo, which is base color, of course, and we have it. It's a little bit dark, but don't worry, because uh, this is normal, our environment is dark. So our lightning is dark, so it's cool. And now we put emissive also, we have emissive, and we go to the body. And again, R, G, G was uh, the glossiness, yes. G, glossiness, gloss. B is for the metal, R, G, B. And we go and put our maps, first the, yeah, and flip it, and see, now it's bad, now it's good, bad, good, yeah, bad, good, okay. So it has to be flipped, and then we put the other maps, this one, this one will be everywhere almost, then albedo, and then the emissive 
and we are ready with our maps. So now we have to adjust the lightning because now it's a little bit dull. So we go to the sky and this is our lightning. We can adjust the brightness. It's fine. And we can adjust this brightness down, but it doesn't do anything because we have to have some lights on the scene. You see? I'm just clicking on this and just moving this light and it's cool. So this looks looks good, but I want other preset. I want it to be in the forest, so I'll select forest path. Done. And in this forest path, I will put some lights. One will be here and the brightness will be around four. And I will rotate it so it's on the front, a little bit like this. And yes, but I wanted more white color. Now it's a little bit greenish. Oops. Yeah, I lost it. Okay, this way is good. And now I will add one more light around this area here. This will be in the back. It also will be a little bit whiter. RGB. Yes. It looks uh, it looks good. Let's see it from up close. And you can see that uh, it has a lot of detail because this texture now is 4K instead of 2K as we see it in Substance Painter. But if you want if you want to work in Substance Painter in in 4K, it will be very difficult because Substance Painter is getting so slow. So what I'm noticing here is my um, it's a little bit um, glossy. Uh, it's a little bit glossy. So I'll just click, not here, just click here and disable this sRGB color space. And now it's better. Yeah, this has to be without the sRGB color space. Otherwise, it will be, uh, it will look bad. This is without it, so it's cool. And now, yeah, this is one reason that your map could be a little bit uh, bad looking, like uh, very glossy. It was, it was because of this sRGB color space. Sometimes it's on and sometimes it's uh, off, but off is the way to go in this case. Okay, so now I will show you. We have a uh, good lightning. It's not bad. I will show you how to make images, but first let's go to a main camera and adjust the field of view. 45 is a little bit too much for me. I would like to be like 30 or 32 or something. Yeah, because if it's more, it can look a little bit distorted sometimes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, the tongue is nice. Okay. So we go to 30 something 30 and we see, of course, the details are very cool. Very nice. And we, of course, like it. Let's see it from the back. Yeah, very, very nice. A little dirt, a little bit of blood some places, like here. So yeah, it looks fine. Uh, now, what we wanted to do is make a render, probably like this. And we go to Capture, Settings. And we like to make a image, for example, which will be 5,000 to 3,000. And here we have presets, but the, those are very, very low presets. It's not. Yeah. And if you want PNG, it's PNG. If you want TGA, TGA or JPEG, no problem. But if you want transparency, it could not be JPEG. I think yeah, JPEG doesn't, uh, doesn't know transparency. The video, I will adjust the quality a little bit more make it a little bit bigger resolution and press OK. So now I want to save an image. So I go to capture image and open and we'll wait a little bit, not too much. And we will have the image opened and we can save it from here. And as you can see, it's pretty good resolution. So we can see 
uh, a lot of detail. It's pretty nice. So I close it because I don't want to save it now. And we'll capture video with this resolution, export, and we'll save it here. My turntable knows that uh, it will be three. Yes. <laughs> and you ask why it's one or two? Because I had some uh, some some tries of uh, recording this video, which doesn't work. Yeah, something goes wrong a couple of times, but it's not uh, not something bad because this video is important and also it's very much fun to do. Mm, it's uh, fun, yeah. The the fun is, in my opinion, when we make a texture, we can have a lot of fun there, but we have to know what we want to achieve. And also, uh, when we are rendering, of course, we can have a lot of fun there, putting a little different lights, like red light, blue light, or whatever, and just uh, have fun with it, which is pretty cool. We can, of course, add more lights, uh, more physical lights, and adjust their color, their strength on everything. But in this case, I'm, I mean, for base render, I think this is pretty much enough and very, very easy and fast setup. And also the quality is pretty good. So we are waiting here. Uh, you you will notice probably that the em emissive here is not exactly like in the Substance Painter, but it's that that's what it is, you know. Uh, there can be achieved by post-processing filters, post-effects, as they say here, but it's it's not uh, it's not very doable. So we'll see now the video. It should be opened uh, or no? We will open it. Okay, we'll go to here and it is three okay this video is very good because i forgot to make something <laughs> happen that's why the video is not very very interesting <laughs> because it's just okay okay i will replace it no problem so we'll have to make a turntable here uh to make a turntable it's very easy you just have to click on this container of our meshes here and press here turntable and now, when you press play here in the bottom, you will see that it's cool. We will move it just a little bit on the side, so the tail won't uh, go that close to the end. And it's very cool. So, now I go to capture, video, export, export it on the place of this. And now, we will have exactly what we need, not what... Uh, not what it what what it was, you know, what it was, what it was, what, yeah. So yeah, mm, I will then show you how to make a clay render, which will be very easy by just disabling the albedo map uh, and uh, maybe some other maps also, but leaving the normal and occlus occlusion and cavity map, and uh, it will be enough to make a clay render. And also I will show how to make a wireframe render. Mm, how to show the wireframe and you may render it uh, after that. It doesn't matter. So our video is ready, let's see it. Uh, turn table 3. Now we are talking, yeah. Now it's good. Yeah, it was very funny. Uh, the last part. Okay, pause and close. So here uh, we can go to render and turn on wireframe and just little wireframe more wireframe make it black no problem everything we can do and now i can disable albedo and you see by disabling albedo we have the wireframe very cool And it's a little bit uh, too much light. So we can disable gloss and metalness. And we'll have good, a good clay render. And we enable wireframe again. And it's very good. And we can make a turntable like this if we want. Or images from here, from
from here, from here, from here. Whatever we want, we just go here and capture, image and open, open it, then save it. We can even uh, image to our station and it will ask us for our credential for our station and it will upload directly to our station, which is cool. So that will be uh, our tutorial. And it's pretty amazing how we get from uh, high poly to low poly with texturing and everything. Let's just enable again the maps here. Go to render and disable wireframe. And the uh, next video will be just uh, wrapping up what we have learned in this whole tutorial. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you want to see more uh, from me, you can watch my other tutorial on Victor 3D of the uh, female barbarian sculpt if you haven't watched it already. So, yeah. See you in the last video.